It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking relative frequency using probable outcomes. Here we have the spinner that is divided into eight equal sections. Each section is either green, yellow, or blue as shown. Here's your spinner. The arrow on the spinner will be spun 200 times. Predict the approximate number of times the arrow on the spinner will stop on each color. We're going to drag and drop a number into each box in the table to show your predicted numbers. Each number may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So we have these number values to pick from, and we're going to determine out of the 200 times how many of our spins will land on green, yellow, or blue. Here's where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Welcome back. We're going to predict the approximate number of times the arrow will spinner, the arrow on the spinner will stop on each color. We know that we are going to do this a total of 200 times. So we're going to use proportions and our probable outcomes. So we're going to relative frequency is how many times it will happen out of 200. We're going to use what we know about green on the spinner. So we're going to identify our probability first, our ratio. So our desired outcome would be green. Four of our sections of our spinner are green. That's our desired outcome. So our ratio is going to be four of our outcomes out of a total of eight are our desired outcome to get green. So we have a four in eight chance of spinning that. In our experiment, our relative frequency is how many times it happens out of 200. Well, we know the more often we conduct an experiment, the closest it gets to that theoretical probable outcome. And in theory, one half of the times, or four out of eight times, we should get green. So we're going to determine, we're going to solve this proportion. We know that 8 multiplied by 25 is 200. There are 8 quarters in $2. Whatever I do to my denominators, I must also do to my numerators and my proportion. 4 times 25 is 100. 100 out of 200 simplifies to 1 out of 2, as does 4 out of 8. This forms a proportion. These are equivalent ratios. So we know that we can expect a relative frequency, if we spend 200 times, that 100 of those times will be green. Now let's move on and do yellow. Clear our workspace. Out of our 200 times, we want to know our relative frequency for yellow. So let's find our probability of spinning yellow. When we look at our spinner, we can see that we have three sections that are yellow. So we're going to write our ratio. Our probability is for yellow is 3 out of a possible 8 outcomes. To solve our proportion, we know that 8 multiplied by 25 was 200. Therefore, 3 times 25 is going to give us our relative frequency. 3 times 25 is 75. So we have a probable outcome of 3 out of 8. Relative frequency, for it to happen 200 times, we would expect that it would happen or land on yellow 75 times out of 200. One more to go. Let's do blue. So now we're talking about spinning blue. Let's find our probability of spinning blue on our spinner. We can see that one of our sections is blue. So our probability for spinning blue is 1 out of 8. Now we want the relative frequency, the number of times we would expect out of 200 spins. 8 times 25 is 200. 1 times 25 is 25. So our relative frequency is 25 times out of the 200 spins. And there you have relative frequency using proportional relationships. We would expect out of 200, 100 times we would land on green, 75 times on yellow, and 25 times on blue. And that is how you calculate relative frequency using probability. Thanks for joining me today at the magic of math.
where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.